I think. You hear something, huh? Yeah. Here's my key ring. Someone said, what do you carry on your keys? So what I carry on my keys is too much junk, but basically this is kind of important this time of year in Maine. This is a tick removal t tool. allows you to remove ticks easily. This is a whistle. The idea behind a whistle is if that you're somewhere and you need to attract attention, your voice is probably going to give out first and with a whistle that doesn't happen. Then I have the Gerber uh, dime. This is a really nice small multi-tool. It has scissors, it has uh, a knife, it has uh, Phillips and regular screwdriver and it's got some other things but it's a really good size to carry on a keychain. I've got a light here That comes in handy too. Uh, what else have we got for tools? I have this little container here. This is an all brass container. I got off eBay and I carry some emergency uh, medicine in it if I was to need it. This big object here is a ferro rod. Ferro rod, my dog, my daughter's dog, I should say. Uh, a ferro rod is a device that you can scrape. It will give off sparks that can ignite a fire. It's got this very small button compass on it. I actually used this once, the button compass. I got turned around on a trail and I knew I was walking generally east. So I took this out and I could find out west and I was all set again. This has got a whistle built into it that doesn't work. Uh, it's funny, you see these these tools now, for you with shipping, and but you can buy them, uh, you can buy them places for less than seven bucks with shipping. This is a very hard ferro rod, which means that it doesn't sh shower as many sparks as soft ones, but it's more durable, so you can carry it around in your pocket. The more expensive ferro rods are, the softer they tend to be, because softer just works better. And eventually, when they're soft enough, you can scrape it, and uh, e even chunks of metal will come off and help ignite what you're trying to set on fire. Uh, you know, of course, we get the car keys, the the thing that operates the alarm, and all those things. But that's basically it. On the oh, I've got this too. Uh, this is the. Uh, is it the Leatherman 6? I forget if it's the Leatherman 6 or not. But it's just a tool that has a uh, bottle opener. Uh, it's got a little, some little wrench things here and a little bit of a pry bar. But uh, I actually got this for like a buck or so at uh, uh, Goodwill. I actually got two of them. One went to my son. Now, my latest addition to uh, everyday carry, uh, I decided to take a plunge with some of the stimulus money and I got a uh, Leatherman Wave Plus. So this has like 19 tools in it. It has a, uh, a straight edge blade, it has a serrated blade, it has a file with, two, with a diamond coating and uh, regular surface. It's got scissors, a uh, really nice saw, can opener, uh, all kinds of different things. Uh, and of course it has a standard, you know, pliers, water, wire cutter and whatever. Uh, so this was about a hundred bucks, but 25 year guarantee. Look at my dog. The dog's got himself all tangled up. Don't you dog? Wait a second. Let me There, we untangle the dog. There we go. Now you can you can move around without tripping, huh? Uh, this was a hundred bucks, but I think it's well worth a 25 year guarantee. And uh, it's also got the uh, a flat edge and Phillips. It, one thing it has that is different is it has a extremely small 
Phillips and Flathead basically for working with the type of screws you find in eyeglasses and things. Uh, but I have a, a pouch, uh, kind of a nylon pouch that came with it, and so this is part of my everyday carry. So there you go. Other than the camera stuff I always kind of drag around with me, I've got my Leatherman Wave Plus and all the different things that you saw on my key ring.